Good morning everyone, this is Pushti Shiv Shakti from Goddess Breath and today I am here to give you your weekly reading. Can you believe July is over? Today is the last day of July. Time is going by so fast and I am really not being able to digest that. Wow, I, mean, I, I don't know what to say. I am really not being able to digest the fact that time is going by so fast. And now suddenly the, the feeling of we have very little time, <laughs> that sort of sits into the head all of a sudden. But um, anyway, so going on from today till Friday, so that's um, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Till the 4th of August, I've laid out the cards, I've pulled them out and here is what they have to say. But before I start with the tarot cards, I'm going to start with the oracle cards. It's kind of becoming a practice because I'm getting called to it, you know, tell me if it suits you, right? And this time, as you know, month change, card change. So this is the pack of cards I'm going to use. It's the Angel of Abundance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. It's a newest deck, but uh, it's a really nice deck. I quite like it. And uh, not just that, it also feels like the right kind of deck to use because, you know, it's, it's harvest time now and it's like also sowing time. And it just feels like uh, abundance, you know, it's a time of abundance right now. And I think this deck kind of called out to me because it is in complete sync with the energies that we are working at. And you cannot be surprised at the card that's popped out for this week. It is just so completely perfect in keeping with what's been happening. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And we have been working on manifestation. It also says the key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose the fun and meaningful activity so that you look forward to exercising and it becomes a reward all of its own. That, that really makes a lot of sense. You know, um, exercising also uh, releases endorphins because it's... It's really orgasmic in a way when you exercise and you hit the right kind of feeling in the body when you're exercising and you're feeling so good. At that moment, you're so much in love with everything that you're never going to think small thoughts. You're going to think expansive thoughts, thoughts that, that include a lot of things, a lot of inclusive thoughts. And you're going to think of more possibilities. The fact of, I don't think this will work. That just is out of question. That will never happen. What does happen is, let's try this. I think I can do this. Maybe if I try that, that might work. You know, that happens. Maybe I should take a chance on something that, you know, you know what you want, so you know what you want to take a chance on. So the fact is that this week is all about increasing your opportunity of taking a chance. Because you know that you can succeed. If you can take that chance, you can succeed. So exercising, moving your physical body, because of which your energetical, energetical, <laughs> energetic body moves, that is the key. So keep moving your energetic body and keep vibrating to higher levels. And the more you vibrate to a higher level, the more you're hooking into that level and the more abundance you'll find and the more your manifestations will become a reality. It will be easy and it'll be fun and it'll be orgasmic <laughs> i love saying that word <laughs> okay let's come to monday and tuesday change 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 look how pretty the card is yeah uh -huh. can you see it now beautiful there is so much happening in our lives everything is you know everything is turning around for the good because this is just something that we have wanted but the fact is not everybody is able to digest getting what they've asked for question is are you going to be able to digest it just in the recent couple of days i have had people who asked me about this that you know what it's come but i don't know how to handle it will i be able to handle it do you think i'm fit enough to handle it of course you are of course you are. And every tarot reading I've done for these people, it all says the same thing, that you're absolutely ready to handle it. You're just not acknowledging it for yourself. Now is the time to acknowledge the fact that you are ready. 
Monday and Tuesday are giving you the opportunity to realize and talk about the fact that you are ready and you will do exactly what you want to do, the way you want to do it and the way it pleases you to do it, right? So that is Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday. Control. Hmm. It looks like the mind is going to take a bit of a toss because uh, change, although it's the only permanent, it's a little difficult to digest like I was discussing. So it might be a little difficult to digest and you might say, no, no I want it just the way it was. It was fine, it was working and now suddenly it's changing. Or um, no, I, I worked really hard to make it the way it was and I don't want it to change anymore. Or it's just that, oh, change, I'll have to readjust. I don't want to do this. That's possible. That's possible too. But the point is, if you just flow with it, if you just flow with it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. And I have a feeling all of us are going to do really well because now that we've been pre-warned, we're not going to get into that mental space, right? We're going to let go of it and we're going to have fun. We're really going to have fun. So, warning Wednesday. Oh boy, that could be like a you know, warning Wednesday. <laughs> So the warning here is don't allow your mind to get in too much. Allow yourself to flow. Let it be easy for you and let it come as fun. Fun, fun, lots of fun. Exercise a little more on Wednesday if you need to. So that the mind is open, the heart is open and you're feeling amazing. Right? Thursday and Friday. Exhaustion. Looks like a lot of you are not going to take my advice. Maybe. Or at least a few of you. Are not going to take my advice and that is why you're possibly going to get exhausted and yeah when you're exhausted huh, nothing feels right and that you'll probably say yeah tell us to do more exercise now now we're exhausted but you realize there are different kind of exercises that you can do and exhaustion is not just on the mental level exhaustion is also on the emotional level or oh, sorry not only on the physical level it's also on the emotional and the mental level what level are you exhausted at? Find that out. Find that out. And do a certain kind of exercise that helps you work out of your specific kind of exhaustion. And yes, if you want advice on that, feel free to ask me. I'm open to giving your, giving your um, you know, little exercise routines, even for your mind, your heart, and your body as well, because I am a trained yoga teacher. So I can also give you a routine which can put all that together. But you don't need to call out to me. You can just, you know, do whatever you feel like doing, right? The idea on Thursday and Friday is to shift it off. Just shift it off. Because yes, exhaustion doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to stop. You can get tired, but you don't have to give up. Do not give up. Thursday and Friday will show you the illusion of listen it's enough i just need to give up and i just cannot do this any forward but that's not true that's not true and that is where your mantle is really tested are you good enough to get up and say i'm tired i'm exhausted i'm cooked but i am going to do this this is the one time where the word but makes a lot of sense it's a very powerful word to use in this moment but I'm going to do this. I am going to, for, going to go forward. I'm going to follow up on my dreams. I'm going to follow up on manifesting what I want to do. You know, this illusion usually comes in when, they're, when we're getting tested, like I said. And tests are galore. We've been tested all the time. We get tested with each breath. Will we breathe in the next breath after we breathe out? And what do we do? We may be tired. You know, we may be so tired, we don't do anything. We just want to go to sleep. But our body is so programmed to take that next breath even when we're sleeping. In a way, we're unconscious, right? What are we doing? We're allowing our body to go forward and say, but I'm still going to take that breath. You've got to learn this from your body. That, you know, I'm still going to do this no matter what is a very powerful thing to do. It's in your hands. Are you going to exercise, get orgasmic and get expansive? Or are you trying to go, going to try to control things and exhaust yourself and then say, well, I can't do this anymore. I have a feeling you're going to get on strong. And you're going to say, I can do this no matter what. And I'm counting on you. Because no matter who doesn't believe in you, I believe in you.
I believe that you are strong enough to get up and do exactly what you feel like doing. Because if I can, you can. And I am. I already am doing exactly what I want to do. I am reaching out to you twice a week. Or maybe even more now. But twice a week I am reaching out to you. And if you want to get a card reading, uh, you are most welcome to take a look at my site. I am putting the link in the comments below. <laughs> no, in the... What's it called? I hate losing out on words. In the information below. And you can take a look at it and you can come by. And I should share readings with you. I look forward to reading for you. And I look forward to reading from you about how beautifully your week has gone. How much you accepted the change, how much you allowed your mind to relax, and how much you exercised and instead of getting exhausted, got an orgasmic. Get through. I love you guys and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye bye. Have a great week. Don't get exhausted.